Therefore, there is no, say no. And he speak of verse 7 when he said that I find that within me, that within my body, I find that within my flesh, when I wanted to do good. Um, when I find my body, uh, um, when I want to do good, he will present himself. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise and so he was speaking concerning the flesh. And he said, in my spirit, I want to do good, I want to serve God, I want to do the right thing. But then I find that he will present himself. A desire for something else. I want to to live only in rest. Can I ask the question, who want to live a wanted life in here? Who want to live a life that is not pleasing to God? Not even one hand. And if you ask the sinner, the sinner will not live his hands up. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to ask the question, who want to die before they die? No. Nobody want to die before they die. What the Bible says, be wise. Don't be a fool and die before you die. For, for you to prevent yourself from dying before they die, you have to get wise. Don't you? I'm the beginning of wisdom to fear God, to respect God, and to respect His word. Amen? Amen. So he speak of the flesh, and then he making a declaration. He said, therefore, no, no, what? At all, at all, no condemnation again, no condemnation. At all, there's a little bit of condemnation. For those who are in Christ Jesus is making it clear that the Lord you are in Christ Jesus and the spirit of truth within you. The spirit of truth. You allow the spirit of the Lord to dwell within you, within your heart. There is no condemnation. Amen. Amen. Praise the, Lord. Praise the Lord. But if anything that is not of Christ, your spirit reject it. Your spirit condemn it. Amen. Amen. That means you will not allow you to be in control, but you allow the Christ that lives in you to be in control. And then the Christ that within you will lead you into all truth. Amen. Amen. A mother of fact, the very spirit that within you is, is called the spirit of truth. Amen. And so we lean not on our own Satan oppression. We lean not on our own understanding. On our own understanding, but we allow the spirit of God to lead us. And one thing with the spirit, he works with the word. The written word is to confirm or to identify the Spirit of God. Yes. Amen. The word must back whatsoever we are doing. Amen. And if we don't have the word, we need to cease from what we are doing. I said, I, 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 I put up, I have said, uh, with the thumbnail, a thumbnail, a thumbnail, whatever, okay, thumbnail. Right, that's it. We have put aside what we feel and what we think and let the word of God be a dominate and let go for the kingdom of what? Of God. That is it. Don't jive. Don't hear. Don't hear. I have another word. I 
I think all the minister called the word. What did we listen to me preach and then he takes some key word or the word? Oh, punch bang. Punch bang. Punch Good. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, worship in the spirit. Body and soul. Say that can worship in the spirit. Body and soul. But the true worship, you worship in the spirit and you get your body in, in agreement and your soul in the subconscious of you so you might also know what you're doing. Amen? Amen. But when the spirit in control is the body of the setback and the soul of the setback. So in worship, we must worship where? In the spirit. Meaning the spirit of God must be in control. But where did the spirit dwell? In the body. So the body will have to come into agreement with the, with the spirit. But our oh, real worship it with the spirit. Amen. So let the church worship in the Holy Ghost. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, you have to let your spirit have to be here. Something, your soul is a subconsciousness. It's your reality. You are here. Amen. And so it is when the spirit in, in control, especially for young converter, they don't know themselves. But after a while that you begin dwelling in the spirit, you start to know yourself while you're moving in the spirit. But as a new converter, the spirit take over. All of you, you don't know nothing. You don't wake up in the gallery in the spirit so you go. Because the spirit is now in full control of you. And I wanted to take note of this. Amen? So, the body, you cannot know that the spirit, the spirit can be upon me, but you don't know. Until you see me move, something move. Then you know that the spirit is upon me. Not true. Because it know, I, the body identify that the spirit is in action. Amen. Amen. But the boy tell you that you can even check and don't even know that it was a, it's a spirit. Because you have no knowledge of it. Because you never hear the when the spirit and have no what the spirit feel. So you might even feel that you're cold. I, I remember when I just started to feel, I said, it feel funny. Because I never know that it was the spirit of the Lord in me. So my, my mind did not know it. Hallelujah. Until I forget to know it. Then I know when it's a spirit. And to identify the spirit, when the spirit is speaking, then when the soul is speaking, you better be careful. Amen. You have to be so much knowing the different mm -hmm. to able to boldly speak, thus said the Lord. I don't know if some people are for you. You cannot let the mind in control. If the spirit can be in control. And the spirit feed. The subconscious. And that's the reason why when you are speaking in tongues, mainly you don't know what you are saying unless you are prophesying in the church. And you can be prophesying, you don't know. But guess what? Somebody knows what you are saying. God, they carry the gift of interpretation while you carry the gift of speaking in tongues. You can speak in tongues in, in Chinese language. Yes. And you know, you feel that you are speaking in English. Because you know what you are saying to the person. Yes, yes. Right. But the person is hearing the Chinese language. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me give an example. I remember I get on the United I was speaking to a Spanish man. I was prophesying to a, uh, a Spanish man. I know exactly what I say to the Spanish man. But I was speaking in, in, in Spanish. So after the service was over, the gentleman come to me speaking in Spanish. I said, no speak Espanol. <laughs> Either but you just prophesied to me a whole, a few minutes at times prophesied to me, even though he can speak in English, the Holy Spirit allowed me to prophesy to him in Spanish. <laughs> and after I prophesied to him, I'm at the point with the whole life before the Holy Ghost. He said, he started talking. I said, no, I don't speak. He said, you just 
prophesy to me in Spanish. Because my soul don't know Spanish. For me to know Spanish, I have to go to the school and they teach me Spanish. Somebody need to praise the Lord. Unless the Holy Ghost speak through me, I am not this concerning Spanish. I get a song in my vision. And I was singing the song and I was singing it in Spanish. I sing the song straight through my vision. When I wake up, I still sing in the song over and over. I find a Spanish interpretation. Okay, somebody say, oh, you're, you're, you're singing in Spanish. Hallelujah. And then I find it can I feel in myself I was just singing in tongues. You know, when you get to Revelation, you are singing in tongues. But in the language. Somebody praise the Lord. So I find the Spanish brother, I sing the song to him, and he interpreted it to me in English. And I have the song right now, I can sing it. Jesus Cristo está aquí, el Espíritu Santo está aquí, llévame, come to Calais. Jesus Christ está aquí, el Espíritu Santo está aquí, lléname con tu poder. I don't look at this chain, but you just change me. Mi corazón, llénalo de amor. If you only be true, he will take you to your own land. And I sing it. And boom, the comedy. So when I write this song, it's like it was mine. There are a lot of revival songs right now that your father write. But they have not given them to me. Somebody praise the Lord. The spirit breathe and I deliver it. He also gives song in a different tongues. When he speaks to you in different tongues, it's the spirit of God who know all things. There is nobody know your mind like your spirit. Even if you don't say anything, you still know what you're doing. Can I have somebody praise the Lord? So let me get here. I want you to praise God with everything that you have in you. Lift your hands up, everybody. Praise Him with everything.
understand what I'm saying? The spirit body and soul, spirit body and soul. So when you say hallelujah, you get, come on, you get open the body and say hallelujah. When you get your body involved, you say hallelujah. Tell me, put the hand in the air. Hallelujah. You put your head in the air. And sometimes you put your hand in it, you put your foot in it. Hallelujah. Now you must understand that you 
God do not want to trust to worship in, in, in flesh. He wants to worship in spirit. God is a one. And for you to connect to God, you have to connect to God through the world. And if you, and who, who did they connect to? What, who did they connect to? The flesh. So you want to connect to God, you have to connect God through the world. I don't know why they are giving the devil so much power. That we could have set a table for the devil. I don't think it's it not the devil blessing me. I hundred percent know when I call the man and he, I don't call Lucifer. I reprove the devil and the people. I insist them. I say, get me behind me, Satan. And when I worship, I worship God in the beauty. When I think of the goodness of who? And that's the reason why we keep table. Table is what? Thanks. That means you are giving, showing your appreciation to who? The one that bless us. Jesus Christ. Amen. 
have you not up you is the Lord. You know that when you were pagans, he was speaking of the pagans. And the pagans worship their God, the pagan God. And he was speaking to those who was a pagan worshiper, many would have said the Gentiles. You would led us straight to the mute idol. You were worshiping idols. However, you were led. Amen? Amen. You were worshiping pagan idols. Dumb image. Therefore, I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God saying, Jesus is accused. You cannot speak by the Spirit of God and condemn Jesus Christ. Is it understand that you are pagan worship? And I wanted to get to understand that if you know saying Jesus, or if anybody come not saying Jesus, they are not of God. That's what he's saying. Amen. And no one can say Jesus is Lord. Say maybe it's the Jesus is Lord. Lord Jesus is Lord. Say it one more time. Jesus is Lord. Say it one more time. Jesus is Lord. Except by the Holy Spirit. No, what he was saying that. You are now saying Jesus. Say Jesus. 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 Listen. When a person is possessed by a demon, and the demon does manifest in him, the person can say Jesus. He will not say it over the world. One of the signs to know that the person is released from the demons and let the person in and out of himself. Hallelujah. It's when the person out there. Jesus. Because when the Holy Ghost comes, the Holy Ghost will manifest. Call upon Jesus. Jesus lover, I'm my soul. You know what I'm saying?
Praise the Lord. I'm going to read that Holy Ghost. I mean, somebody pick up something. I'm going to go there and open up. God is still go on, even though we may not meet up for the fasting. So we have two more fasting tables to set, but Monday night we still on fasting, okay? But we won't be having any service Monday night. Let's do that by ourselves. Amen. So we still have charity to go. Amen. And, and sometimes, tell the neighbor, say, when the message is coming, they will take the message. So maybe God wants to be good on some deeper in the world. So we just belong to the because what the enemy means for evil, God will turn it around for good. We need to raise me up and make me know yourself and say, oh, listen to me. Keep your mind in truth. Amen. Hallelujah. You ain't never saying that. Even when you do something, don't even do it like a greedy person. Do it as you're doing it to God. Your mind must say, oh, God. Um, this is a man of God. If you receive me as a prophet in the name of a prophet, get the prophet you want. Hallelujah. That time is coming. Right there. 
Somebody praise the Lord. Praise God. Let me hear you praise the Lord. Praise God. You know who God is? Hallelujah. I don't know what you know. A bishop sometimes me drop sometimes. Me can't tell you what happened to you by feeling the pain. Yes, sir. I mean, I'm never going to feel no pain. I'm going to check and I'm going to feel it. I'm going to feel the pain. I'm going to feel the pain. I'm going to feel the pain. I'm going to feel it in the spirit. Somebody praise the Lord. Can you explain that to me? Can you explain that to me? Can you explain the spirit? Can you see the spirit? Explain that to me. Explain that to me. Sickness over you, your mind. And the doctor said, thank you, I'm very complain. Explain that to me. And the spiritual wickedness. You feel peace. You suffer. And that I can't find. You can't pray. And that's the reason why you have to go to a spiritualist. I said, Peter, come to me and I said, that's your mind. They need a psychologist. Yeah. Somebody praise the Lord. Yeah. I do not know my position. Yeah. I know my work. Yeah. That's your mind. Yeah. Somebody yeah. praise yeah. the Lord. Get your mind together. The young lady come and say, the back the brain match up. The soul. Watch. Hello. Hello. I can't help you. You have to unlearn yourself. But I'm not a college teacher. I'm a spiritual doctor. Hello. Do you know how many times I do surgery? You know how many times I, I become when it even look to anybody the name again? You know many times I help share people. I you know how many times I examine just by a touch. My spirit is a spiritual thing. The natural doctor he can test your pressure. I look on your tongue and your eye. I might detect certain things. But the man of God over the phone tell you, say, this is going on, you know. <laughs> Even today it happened. I this happened and this happened. Tell you, oh, you baby is in the house, but close your arm. Hello. Hello. I remember I was on the air, the revival hour. Oh, and the spirit starts. And the day of the lady, you look near the sea, you into a pink nighty, you lie back in the bed, you can't walk, you say the spiritual sickness, come up and walk in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And the lady get up and begin walking. Yeah. I can't forget Vernica Radcliffe. Hallelujah to God. Delma, thank you, Uno. Delma, hallelujah. Yeah. Doctor say she has cancer in her two, two feet. And I say, you're healed. The doctor said, you have no cancer. You're healed in the name of Jesus. And she come and testify. In your name, I could not walk. She could not walk. And she get her healing. And she can walk now. Come on, Jamaica. Show it in. You might have put on heels. Come on. She come. You don't pay her to come and testify. She is the poor guy. Why are you going to work? You want to work in the flesh? Or you want to work in the spirit? Trust me, most of the world cannot done in the flesh. There is no limit in the spirit. Forty years! And Jesus has come forward. There is no limit in the spirit. I'm gonna come on it, I don't tap yet. 
I have to do this, please. But I have to let the church be wise. Yes, sir. We have to be wise. Amen? Amen. I'm going to talk about the water. I'm going to talk about this different. It, it, we don't we'll go with that scripture there. There were diverse of gifts. Diverse. I came from the same spirit that we do. Different as ministry shine. But the same spirit. The same God that operate. Stand up over here. Those who are passing look at the circle of the table. Look at your ear. Look at your arms. Oh, Bishop Mother. Tonight, I'll oh, tell you that you have to never write. I don't know if you can't do it. 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 Amen. Those who are passing, can I have somebody to, to serve the candle right now? Can I have the candle to find out by the way? Come and take a camera. If you don't get 
as the news went by, this woman was so mad with him. And so she sent a message unto him. She said unto him, tomorrow this time, tomorrow this time, you shall no longer arrive. He took up his feet in his hand from his journey. He ran away. Yeah. While he ran away and was on his journey, he went to a Jupiter tree and he lied down underneath the tree. While he lied down underneath the tree, he was dreaming. But the angel of God went to him and shaked him and said, Wake up, arise, eat, because the journey is not yet complete. This morning, standing here, my journey is not complete. I still have another journey to go with Jesus Christ. And right as the, and Christ the solid rock I stand, all the other ground is sinking inside. And because the other ground is sinking inside, I'm trying holding on to the name of Christ Amen. Because I know one day soon and very soon, I shall hear the archangel voice that calls me home tonight, to this morning, to my father. Thank you again, sir. Amen. We bless you and keep you. And you continue to put word in your mouth. There was food for thought. Yes. There was water to drink. Tea, drinks. Amen. This morning, heaven bless you, sir. It's Amen. not what you do, but how you do it. God bless the children of God. Amen. And you journey with me. Then the peace that binds that binds our heart in Christian yes, love continue to share with us. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.